Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Heidi from My Reading Life and I'm here today to film my nonfiction November TBR. Um, you have seen many of these TBRs popping up all over your feed, I'm sure. This is the month-long read-along, uh, read-a-thon, excuse me, designed by Olive over at A Book Olive. I will link her uh, announcement video for this year's nonfiction November down below and in which everybody is encouraged to read more nonfiction than they normally do. So I read quite a bit of nonfiction, as you all know. So I have got here a list of eight books that fit within the prompts that Olive has come up with. Um, I don't know that I will get to all of them and I may mix in some other ones uh, that I'm also interested in reading. Uh, but you know, I wanted to have a wide variety of things to choose from, so I have eight here that fit the prompts, two for each prompt. So Olive has given us, again this year, four uh, basically words, and you can interpret these words any way you like to fit in with the nonfiction that you want to read. And the first word is design. So for that, uh, I'm definitely going to be reading The Great Bridge by David McCullough. I will be buddy reading this with Doris. Uh, this is all about the bridge that was built between Manhattan and Brooklyn in the late 1800s. And I just talked about this one in my birthday book haul because I just picked this uh, copy up in preparation for nonfiction November. The other one that I would like to get to is a science nonfiction. This is The Evolution of Beauty by Richard O. Prum. And the subtitle is How Darwin's Forgotten Theory of Mate Choice Shapes the Animal World and Us. And first of all, this cover is beautiful. And second of all, I always think of when I see any books about evolution, I always think of the term intelligent design. Um, and so I thought that would be a fun read for the design challenge. Then the next word is sport. And I actually really like nonfiction books about sport, but I don't have any that are like specific to sport on my TBR. And I'm really trying to only pick books to read that are on I already own on my TBR trying to get some of these books read down. As you can see here behind me, these are all my unread nonfiction. So I have a lot to get through. Um, so I'm stretching this a little bit. And the first one I've picked is Down at the Docks by Rory Nugent. And this is a book about uh, the New Bedford fishing community. And of course, fishing is considered a sport. This is commercial fishing, not recreational fishing, but I still think fishing being considered a sport uh, can you know, allow me to introduce this book into my TBR. And the other reason I really wanna to get to this one is because it has been on my TBR for like, I don't even know, well over five years. So I really need to give this one a shot and see if I like it, and if not, you know, need to pass it along. The next one uh, I've chosen for the word sport is one that's not about sport at all, but it has a sport word in the title, and that's Fight Like a Mother, How a Grassroots Movement Took on the Gun Lobby and Why Women Will Change the World by Shannon Watts. And this is a book by the woman who founded Moms Demand Action, and I picked it because fight obviously um, is a sport related word for like boxing or mixed martial arts or whatever else you wanna choose. And I just uh, wanted a way to shoehorn this one in because uh, this one also appeared on my most recent book haul and I'm very interested in reading it sooner rather than later. The next word uh, prompt is true, which you know really can fit for any nonfiction. Um, but I have two, uh, two books here that I'd like to slot in. The first is my next presidential biography, Rutherford B. Hayes, obviously uh, by Hans L. Trefuse. Obviously biography fits very well with the prompt of true and um, I need to get to this one hopefully to finish this slim little novel definitely within the month of November. And then the other one I have for the true prompt is In the Garden of Beasts, Love, Tara, and an American Family in Hitler's Berlin by Eric Larson. Um, this is another one that I'll probably be buddy reading with Doris over at Aldi Books. Uh, and this is in 1933 when a professor from Chicago brings his wife, son, and daughter to Germany to do some work. And his daughter gets, um, 
gets wrapped up with uh, some of the the uh, Nazis somehow. That's all I really know. I love Eric Larson. Um, I'm trying to read all of Eric Larson's books eventually, and so this is the one that I have on my physical TBR. Okay, the last prompt is voice. Uh, and so for voice, I think that fits very well with memoir. So I will be picking up Almost a Woman. This is by Esmeralda Santiago. Um, you will remember that a bunch of us, uh, Doris and I and Alba from Cereella, Buddy Red, um, uh, when I was Puerto Rican by the same author. So this is book two in her um she has written and published three memoirs, basically, for different stages of her life. When I was Puerto Rican was her life in Puerto Rico and then immigrating to um, New York City when she was, like, a young, like, a young teen. Um, and so this one, uh, our main, uh, you know, she is, I'm not our main character, obviously, this is nonfiction. <laughs> Excuse me. So in this one, uh... She's 13 years old. She's in New York City, um, and she, you know, is dealing with all that kind of stuff. Um, and her dad's back in Puerto Rico. She's with her mom in New York City, and all that tension is going to be part of this book. I really loved when I was Puerto Rican. I'm super excited to pick up this book, too, in her memoir series. And then the last book that I will be reading for Nonfiction November, hopefully under the prompt of voice is Dear Friend from My Life I Write to You in Your Life by Yin Yun Lee. And I am uh, going to buddy read this with Sarah from Hardcover Hearts. And you'll remember this one. It was all over book two for a while with Sean singing its praises um, to the rafters. And so I definitely wanted to read this. This is uh, about a Chinese woman and uh, She's writing about her personal experiences interwoven with um, her thoughts on literature, I believe. Um, so, you know, that is obviously a winner for anyone to be able to read a memoir that's also about literary stuff. So I'm very excited for that as well. So those are the eight books that are on my TBR. As I said, any of these books from this shelf right here might figure their way into it eventually, depending on how I go. I am going to be buddy reading a um, another book, a book of fiction, uh, in the month of November as well. So I will have a little bit of fic fiction sprinkled in, um, but I definitely want to focus most of my time on nonfiction. Um, yeah, so I'm extremely excited. This is my favorite reading month of the year. I just absolutely love nonfiction, and I love seeing what everybody else is reading um, as well. And so I've been devouring all of your nonfiction November TBRs and loving them and looking forward to hearing about what everybody thinks about all the nonfiction they read next month. I hope you all are doing well, and I'll talk to you later.